This here is a breadboard and breadboard is a good way to mock up your electrical designs. Uh, so I want to go over a few of the basics of how a breadboard is set up. So a breadboard has a bunch of holes and they're connected in a specific manner. So if you look on the left and right hand side here, you have these red and blue lines. These are connected in a vertical orientation. So that means all the holes in a vertical alignment here are connected. And the same with the lines right next to it. So here, and then the same goes for the over here all the way on the right hand side. So if you wanna make a connection, you can put one in here and then you could put one all the way down here and these two would be connected. The same thing goes for on the right hand side. So you could put one way up here and one here and those would be connected. So these on the, on the left and right hand side connected vertically are good for bringing power and ground in. So you can, you can attach five volts to one of these, zero volts to the other, and then any connections where you need five or zero volts, you can always make the connection over to these, to these center pins. Now, if we move to the center, these are arranged in the opposite direction. So these are attached in rows here. So these are attached in rows. So if you wanna make a connection, you could put one here and one here, and these are connected. They are separated at this middle line. So even though that they are in rows, if you put one here and one here, these would not be connected. So they're only on the specific side of the center line. So these would be connected and if you move to the other side, something like this, these would be connected. So this is easy to make connections because all you need to do is push the wires right into the holes here. And that's the basics of how a breadboard is laid out.